So I got a copyright warning on this video for music and the music was overlaid with me talking and I can't separate the two and I don't have any of the old raw footage or the raw um, anything really. This is all I have. So I was just going to commentate over it the best I can. This is about making a putting together a comic I should say using Canva. So this is one of my comic ideas. This is called Gems and this is just a SharePoint site that I that I have on there. And here's Canva, of course. And then we just want to create a page to get going, like a standard comic book page. And let's see if I can put the um, correct dimensions in here. I haven't seen this in a while, so I'll do my best to get through it with you. Uh, so that's my file, my Uncle Doug file. That's the comic we're going to be doing. That's where all my images are. And... There's Uncle Doug right there. That's a comic I used to write, a comic strip I used to write many, many moons ago. I used to write a lot of comic books um, years ago, probably a decade ago, plus maybe 15 years ago, actually. I'd love to get back into it. I do have some ideas uh, to get out there, but uh, I'm just showing some pages from Uncle Doug. It's been in a couple anthologies, the character, and in an online comic strip, basically, um, is where it used to be published. So there we go. It says comic book right there. If you can see it, the top one. So you can just do search for comic book in Canva. And um, there you go. It already has a template for you. And I think I just pick out a generic page here and I'm going to redo it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. That's my coffee I'm sipping. Excuse me. So... Obviously, bring up comic book templates, pick the one you want, and I'm trying to decide here, I'm assuming, I'm doing something with my hands, I'm not really sure, and we'll put we'll put a comic book together using Canva, and I'll show you how to, how to format it and get it ready for um, printing, which I've done before too. Um, I've printed a lot of my own comic books through the years. And uh, it's fun. You don't really make any money at it, making comic books, creating comic books. I mean, unless you're right, the big two, DC and Marvel. I'm not even sure how much money they make anymore on comic books. I think it's more their licensing and their movies now. I don't know. I really don't know. All right, so we're bringing up one of the templates. Um, so it's comic book page size. And then that's the page that we're going to use. And... We're actually going to create a cover to start with, so I'm going to base the cover off this um, template, off this pre-made cover by Canva. I'm not sure what I'm saying there. I'm, I'm sure it's very important, whatever I'm saying. Yeah, and there you can do different, you just have to click on the template and then you can hit delete and get rid of all the stuff that's on the template and just use the page size for the template and then if you click on the template and you go up on the upper left hand side you can change the the page color and I'll show you once once we get back there so here's my pages for Uncle Doug and I'm not sure which one we choose I think I do a black and white page actually here All right, back to, so if you look on the upper left-hand side where my pointer just moved over to, where there's a, a colorful block, that's where you can change the colors. You just click on that and pick the color that you want. So I'm going to drag all these. I grabbed all these from the folders on my desktop, and I highlighted them all, and I dragged them over. So I uploaded them to Canva here, and then you just simply click on right um, I'm sorry left click on an image and drag it over and then um, you can detach the background usually when you drag it over it will click right into the background and you don't necessarily want that um, in this particular case and then obviously if you just drag it over like that and detach from background then you can re resize it like I'm doing now you just click on the image and then you got those uh, circles on each corner of the image and then you can just drag them and manipulate them and and change the size of them 
And then you got those guidelines, as you saw those purple guides, that just shows you that it's in the middle and centered and everything. I'm sure you've seen them before. They're in a million programs, they're on everything. All right, so you just add page where it says add page there and we'll drop the second one and resize it and keep going. And you just click on it again and then you get those dots in each corner and then you just manipulate it like so. And you just keep going until you're you're done with all your pages. Very anal about this as you can see. I just want it just right. Jeez. Over anal. I actually filmed this in my apartment. This must be a couple years old. This, this video. Just trying to get things just right. Leave some bleed though. If you're going to get this printed, you're going to need a bleed area. Basically, that's that's the area in case they cut into it when they're when they're trimming the book. You don't want them to cut into your to your comic. So there's always a bleed. There's always a little around all the edges there. Say, I don't know, what do you think, a half an inch? Maybe not even that much. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Just leave a bleed. But this was just for example. I wasn't printing this or anything. I printed this stuff before. Um through Lulu, which is kind of expensive. I wouldn't recommend it. There's a Kaboom, there's a site called Kaboom, and I think it's still around, and they're pretty reasonable, and they'll do on-demand printing. They'll print one, or they'll print um, you know, as many as you want. Well, so does Lulu, but Lulu's just expensive, lulu.com.com, but uh, Kaboom is still around, I do believe, and they do a good job. I've, um, I've published a few comics through them. All right, so you can just highlight all this stuff and you can hit your delete and get rid of it or you can go over it and and just type over it and use the same font like I'm doing here. It's not the Uncle Doug, it's just Uncle Doug. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just using the pre-formatted cover uh, that is on Canva and just manipulating it. And you can highlight the text and change the font you just have to move your mouse over it and then all the you can see up there at the top um, it will come again see all this stuff at the top that's all the stuff you would use to change the font colors and all that good stuff if you weren't aware and just trying to get it the way I want it here you just kind of play with it, manipulate it, and fart around with it. And there's the fonts that we're going into now. Just see what see what jazzes me. See what floats my boat. That's a little big. And then you can size the font. What I'm doing now, resize the font. You can either use the pluses or the minuses, or just click in the box and put in your own amount. That's pretty good. See, I'm going to highlight the box, and then I just put in my own, and then hit enter. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with with that font. Not sure what font it is. What font was it? Enter, enter. Okay. get rid of all these images and my name is not Sophia Hill so let's <laughs> so get rid of that there's my name that's what my name is all right I 
I think I put like writer and creator and the artist. You just drag. You just drag. You just put your. Now I'm just clicking each one, getting rid of the the images. So you just right click in to all these. So if you use a right click and then you can drag. Right click and then drag. Yeah, I, so I got that uh, copyright um, warning. It's not a strike, it's a warning. And you can, I disputed it the one time. You can dispute it one time. You've got 30 days, or, or they have 30 days to respond, and they, um, they still... Uh, it was it was denied. The dispute was denied. You can dispute it again for seven days, um, but I don't want a copyright strike because I just got monetized and I don't want to affect that. So that's why I'm doing this voiceover. I think it's still it will still be helpful. I hope for people. You can click on colors or you see that thing up there with the plus and the colors around it up on the upper right hand or yeah upper left hand side i should say upper left hand side where my head is you can pick any color you want in that particular box that's real right next to the black um, it's not showing now but that's what it was now these frames here if you put them in your project then you can drag over a picture and your picture will appear in that where those clouds are and everything like if you put that b up there it will your picture will appear in the b and just the b i hope that that made sense but yeah it will only it will only appear in the object from those particular samples um, that you put up there and then you just double click on the image here and then you can resize it and then the rest will go away and as you see the only part that will stay is in that clouded area that that you saw. And I use that all the time for multiple things. So that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And of course I gotta get anal about it and have it just the right size. And if you have any questions on this, certainly put it down in the in the comments and I'll I will certainly address it. Like I said, hopefully this will this is enough where people can look at it and get an idea of how to do this. All right, now I'm babbling about something. Who knows? So yeah, if you hit that click that right there, you can get that view and it's a lot easier to move stuff around in that view all right if you share and then download i'm going to download as png or pdf i'm going to download as pdf i don't remember what i've downloaded off i should just do png okay so that will download it into a zip file. You can download any picture you want or any photo or you just hit that share button and then there is a, a drop down where you can pick the images that you want. And just that's where you title the project. That's what I just did. All right, so drop down. You see that drop down says all pages four you can drop that down and pick the pages that you want. In this particular case, I'm just happening to pick all the pages because I need all the, I want all the pages. Okay, it went into, I did it as a PDF, okay. So there you go, as a PDF. And you really need a high resolution, 300 DPI, I would say, maybe 600 and um, before you send it to print. And I wouldn't send this to print. There's not enough bleed. So this is just for digital. This is just for digital use. I would have more of a bleed on there, on the edges. See right here, this is what I was talking about, where you can pick 
and choose which ones you don't want to download. Let's be talking about sizes there. Not sure what I'm saying. I've never done a commentary before. This is this is different. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a commentary, sort of, kind of. <laughs> I've never uh, audioed over an existing video before. It's interesting. You gotta, f I guess you gotta think of things to talk about while you're not really sure what I'm saying right there, and I'm not doing anything. Who knows what the hell I'm talking about? Okay, I guess that's it. All right, gals and guys, I appreciate you very much. I hope this helped. Um, and uh, I'll catch you later. Please subscribe, like, share, hit the bell for updates and all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Peace. Bye-bye.